Hello YouTube. So it's Nick again. It's night time and it's been about, mm, I'd say about a good uh, four to five days handling time after I painted and took the tapes off this tiger stripe. So uh, I'm ready to clear cut it now. I dropped one clear coat on it, uh, dusted it off before I did anything with um, clear coating it. Luckily everything's sticking to it perfectly. So that was the first initial shock because I didn't want the marker that I cleaned up the stripes to run or anything. So I gave it one coat. I'm going to hit it again with a couple more coats of uh, what I'm using. I'll uh, talk about what we're using again later. That Krylon uh, triple thick glaze mirror like. It's uh, this product right here. This so, uh, you know, triple thick clear glaze. And uh, this is the tiger right here. She's kind of just sitting here. I just implied one coat. I got a tiny amount of run, which I mean, I don't think anybody could even see, but right there. And um, basically, I'm glad the clear coat took so well, because as long as I got the first one on there, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stack this stuff up and uh, anticipate shaving it off later, shaving down a whole bunch of layers. So, uh, you know, like I said, everything's going well, but this project's nowhere near done. I, I am taking my sweet, sweet time with this. I don't want anything to go wrong, and even if it does, it's um, now that I got the graphics under the first layer of clear, I mean, nothing can go wrong unless I put fingerprints between clear coats or whatever and that's not going to happen so uh you know um i gotta clear coat this some more i will show you what it all looks like when it's kind of wet clear coated and hung back up and then it'll be um i'm guessing about a month uh, what is it a week before I start yeah it's about a week before it cures and I start water sanding it and buffing it out and uh, like I said it's kind of a fun project because it's it's a uh, time vampire it's not gonna go anywhere so uh, cool so let's just go ahead and uh, clear coat this and I'll see you guys back inside okay so I just gave it about mm, four clear coats and about 12 to 15 minutes between each coat and it's starting to take on a glassy look which is perfect that's what we want um, I'm gonna empty a whole can of this Krylon on it and I'm going to see it's starting to be like flawless and perfect uh, it's like a lake just sitting on it it, it reminds me of glaze because it really is like glaze so um, it's perfect uh, I'm gonna add a ton of coats to this and I'm going to let it sit for about a week. We're going to water sand her down. Um, there's just nothing this camera can pick up as far as the detail. It's, it's shiny. It's perfect. Even all the corrections I made. See, there's a big run right there. I don't care. You're supposed to get runs and all this shit. Because you're just going to you're just gonna file it down anyways with water sandpaper. So i um, not really concerned about running or anything like that. Getting the runs. Get the runs all the time. It doesn't bother me. And uh, like I said, I touched up a lot of stuff with marker and balance everything out and this is really shiny I mean it looks like glaze just liquid syrup sitting on the guitar so um, that's getting done and uh, you know, this is what's going on right here um, everything's looking really good so I'm gonna close the doors on this and uh, in the kitchen I got the neck basically I sit the neck down on the trash can and uh, sprayed it with glaze this stuff and uh, it's all sitting very well here's the neck right inside my door and the neck's waiting to get its second or second coat I'm gonna do about four or five coats on this uh, this is different than the holographic flake guitar because uh, the holographic flake you have to stack up it seems like the the flake that's in a, a custom paint job like that absorbs the the clear coat and it pulls it in and leaves dents this stuff really is just stacking up on it it's not really like taking form of the the stripe lines or any of the uh there's no it's all seamless there's no um like i noticed with automotive flakes they they tend to suck in its own little crater of moisture because it's pulling in the the clear coat so i'm going to take this bad boy uh, uh outside again looks like it's drying i'm going to do this every uh I don't know, every 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Just enough for it to lose its slight uh, moisture. You can tell. I'm gonna bring it outside, put it on the trash can, right there. And um, I'm gonna hit it again. And basically, I mean, this stuff really isn't bad. Also, a tip for this, this glaze is that uh, you have to hit it like, um, you would think to use it like a paint sprayer, but when you do, you'll get runs or overspray that kind of dampens it so what I would do is probably do the checkerboard pattern and cross it so all the glaze cross connects 
and um, you know. Anyways, um, I think it's too difficult to shoot it and hold the camera. Basically, I'm just gonna go, kind of start from here, and I'm gonna stripe it all the way up. And I have it specifically. I learned this already. You have to set the fretboard like this because you want the glaze to just settle up here on the top. You don't want it to. I tried hanging it vertically, and it was just running down this way so I set it like this I make puddles like a great lake on top of this paint job and just uh, it goes to the right places it kind of just sucks itself in so um, you know I'll give you guys an update okay so here it is I finally uh, dumped a whole can of uh, triple thick on it and I brought it inside uh, it's it's immaculate it looks like wet still but it's not it's already drying up it's like glass I'm gonna let this chill for about mm, a week and then we're gonna finish sand it and cut it cut and polish it and I'll take some of the tape out uh, it's still got all of its tape like I said it's all super shiny and smooth and uh, pretty seamless I mean to me it looks uh, amazing See, it's nasty. Runs right there. That's what I was talking about, going back and forth. Anyways, all that's going to be sanded off the top. It ain't going to matter. But, uh, yeah, it's completely shiny and clean. It's going to hang in my closet for about a good week. And then I'm going to sand it down. Then I'm going to give it a month. And uh, we'll be done. But uh, I'm stoked. i got to go coat this holographic uh, flake guitar a little bit more. Uh, like I was saying, it looks all these holographic flakes kind of pull the clear coat in towards itself. So this one I'm going to dump a shitload on. So we'll see you later.